So we're going to hook them up and see how many bluegill, crappie, and perch we can catch with bald faced hornet larvae. Oh, we got a big crappie. This will be the last fish of the day. And when the oil's up to temperature, we place our fish in the pan. We got crappie, bluegill, and perch. Today's video is a catch and cook. We're gonna go fishing for bluegill, crappie, and perch. We're gonna fry them up for dinner. And to catch them, we're gonna use a very special bait. Well, here's the bait we're gonna use. If you're a fan of my channel, you know where I got this. I dealt with a dangerous bald-faced hornet nest. They attacked me, but I did have a bee suit, so I didn't get stung. And inside, I found all these juicy grubs. These are larvae that would make great fishing bait. So we're gonna hook them up and see how many bluegill, crappie, and perch we can catch with bald-faced hornet larvae. Okay, let's see if bald-faced hornet larvae work as a good bait for catching fish. I tied a grub right to the end of my hook right here and attached it to my Tenkara fly fishing rod. It's a Japanese style rod with no reel. You simply tie the line to the end and flick it out there. This rod is almost 13 feet, so I can get it out there quite a ways. This is very similar to a method people use called cane pulling, where they tie a line right to a piece of bamboo. There's no reel, you just lift it up and pull them in. Let's see if they're hungry. <laughs> That's not really the size I'm looking for. This is about a two inch fish, but they are biting it, so it does make good bait. Let's try to get one that we can actually eat. This is three and a half, maybe four inches, so we are getting bigger, but that's still way too small to eat. I guess if I keep doing this, sooner or later, a larger fish will bite it. At least that's the hope. I think I can eat this one. We're gonna go put it on the ice. So here's the first fish I'm keeping of the morning. It's a bluegill. You can see that blue spot right there. And I grabbed the bald-faced hornet larva. It's a great bait. It doesn't stay on the hook very well, but they can't resist it. Let's go catch some more. Okay, let's see if we can catch an even bigger one. This one had more of a fight and it is slightly bigger. Cool. We're going to have a good dinner tonight. The biggest thing I find is I just have to wait for the bait to get down low enough. It slowly sinks. And once it gets to about two feet down, I see that line tug and I set the hook. It's pretty consistent. These bluegill really like this bait. Just like that. Another bluegill, I'm gonna keep it, it's big enough. Go to my tackle box right here. These bald-faced hornet larvae work great. They're just so soft-bodied. With every cast, every time a fish bites it, I have to put a new one on. This one's borderline, but pretty small. I'm gonna let this one go. I think I'm gonna take my kids here fishing because it's really exciting when you can catch a fish with every cast. This might be my biggest one yet. It's a good sized bluegill for this place. So far, I'm only catching bluegill, none of the crappie or perch like we caught last time. These fish are so eager to bite. I think I'll keep this one as well. I'm seeing a bunch of fish rise over here, so I might move locations. I'm gonna do one more cast. We got a perch, finally a perch. I love eating perch. Cool fish, take a look at this. Well, I guess yellow perch will also eat bald-faced hornet larva. Let's see what else we can catch. Well, whatever fish is rising over here, it's making a big splash. Let's see if it's hungry. Finally, a very decent sized bluegill. Much better, look at that thing. That's the biggest fish so far of the day. Okay, here's to a big bluegill or a crappie. Or a small bluegill, about average to what we've been catching. 
Let's try it again. They just can't resist this bait. If I kept every fish I caught today, I'd have over 20. Oh, we got a big crappie. This will be the last fish of the day. Oh, that's what I want to catch. Nice. Well, based on how many fish I caught in the last hour, I'd say that bald-faced hornet larvae make excellent fishing bait. I caught over 30 bluegill. Most of them were small and I let them go, but I did keep enough for dinner. Also, we caught a crappie and a yellow perch. Now let's go scale these fish and fry them up for dinner. So the first step when frying panfish is, we have to scrape off these scales. When you fry it up like this, the skin turns crispy and tasty, but not with those scales on. It's a simple process. I always do it outside because it's very messy. Those scales go flying everywhere and they smell like fish. I have a simple butter knife and a clipboard. I clip the back tail and work my way forward on each fish. But this process doesn't take long at all. and we'll scale the perch as well. Now that we've removed all these scales, we're ready to cut off the fish heads, remove the intestines, and then take the fish to the kitchen and fry them up. Now I'm not gonna waste the fish heads or guts. Instead, I'm gonna make a yellow jacket trap. It's pretty amusing that we caught fish with hornets and we're gonna catch hornets with fish. I'll put a link down below on how to catch yellow jackets using meat and a bucket. It's one of the most effective traps ever. You can catch thousands of yellow jackets in a very short amount of time. But enough about hornets, let's go to the kitchen and cook up the fish. So we have our fish all ready to fry. I really want the flavor to get down in the meat. So I'm gonna do a grid pattern here and score the skin. Do that on both sides. Okay, now we're ready to season our fish. You can use your favorite blend. Here I'm using a custom blend by a YouTuber named The Wooded Beardsman. He has a great YouTube channel where he does a lot of catch and cook videos. And this blend is great for all kinds of wild game, including fish. I bought this off the website by Zach Fowler. He has a YouTube channel. He also won a season of Alone down in Patagonia. His website is Fowler's Makery and Mischief. He has all kinds of products there, some really cool ones. So check it out. But now we can season the fish to taste. Then I'm gonna warm up some duck fat and we're gonna pan fry these fish. I really like the seasoning. We're gonna work it into those grooves, really add the flavor inside the meat. And this blend includes salt, chili powder, black pepper, granulated onion, paprika, granulated garlic, cumin, and oregano. Next, we'll heat up our duck fat and our cast iron skillet. And when the oil's up to temperature, we place our fish in the pan. We got crappie, bluegill, and perch, and they cook very quickly. We'll go ahead and flip those. These look ready, they're cooked to perfection, white and flaky, the skin's kind of crispy. So we're gonna pull them off and cook the last fish. I wish you could be here and smell how tasty these are. They don't have any fishy smell. They're cooked to perfection. I think the family's really gonna like these. These are done, so we'll pull them off. So I'm gonna see how my kids like this recipe with the bluegill, but I know they don't like bones. So I'm gonna pull off the white flaky meat and separate it for them. Oh sorry, my dog's hitting the tripod. We had him fixed yesterday and he's wearing the cone of shame. Did you have a rough day yesterday? 
He really doesn't like this cone. He bumps it into everything, but he has to wear it for a week. Now let's see how the kids like the fish. Can I eat one? Yeah, you can eat one. So Ruby wasn't sure about my cooking of the fish last time, so we tried a different recipe. Tell me how it tastes. You too, Carson. I tried to get out all the bones. Is it yummy? You like it? Much better than cooking on a fire. So my kids do like cooking bluegill. I'm gonna take them fishing very soon because we caught a fish almost with every cast. So thank you so much for watching. We learned that bald-faced hornet larva makes excellent fishing bait. And we also learned that my kids like to eat bluegill when you pan fry them in duck fat. These have the bones in them, but do you want to try the flippers here, the fin? It's crunchy. Just bite it. I eat the, this. Yep, like this, like a potato chip. Want to try it? What do you think of it, Carson? Salty. Salty and good. It's always fun to eat the crispy part of the tail. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button because we'll have more I'm adventures coming some soon. Fish, Mom. She's eating some fish, Mom. Here you go. Want another piece? Yes. Yes. Good job, Ruby. Thanks for watching.